If anyone understands the importance of your personal brand, it's Kate Mudley. And as she explained to Clive Maestri, you don't need an MBA to be an effective CEO of I Incorporated. Punctuality is a big part of projecting a professional image. So Clive made sure he was on time when he arrived at Kate's corporate HQ, where she was wrapping up her first meeting. A woman that wears many hats while still managing to stay true to her humble roots, Kate Woodley has many accolades under her belt and numerous awards, including Business Women of the Year. She boasts a Masters in Law and has her own book, I Inc. Be the CEO of your own brand. Well, this morning we got her up quite early to find out what exactly makes this businesswoman tick. After starting out as a candidate attorney, Kate moved into the corporate world as a legal advisor to a major insurance house. She soon revealed her talent for business, where she occupied positions of seniority in the financial services sector before becoming a franchise director. Hi, Clive. Hi, Welcome. How are you? <laughs> Lovely to see you. Thank you so much for allowing us, of course, to get you out of bed this early. What gets Kate Moody going every morning? I must admit, I'm not really a morning person, but uh, my PA runs a very, very strict diary for me. So she knows exactly what I do, and she doesn't waste any of my time during the day. Typically, if I am going to the gym, um, the reality is that I'm up at 5, I'm at the gym at 5.30 but I try and opt for an evening session if it's possible. Okay, we've got so much planned. I can't wait to spend my day with you today. I'm so glad to be able to show you a little bit about my life. So let's start with my office. Please See follow ya. me. Kate, I've got to tell you, going through your website, I'm in such awe, you've achieved so much. What are some of the career achievements that stand out for you though? I would think like I've been really blessed uh, to win the Top Business Women of the Year Award. That would certainly be the highlight of my career. The second uh, would be writing my book. I think for me that's really a passion that's come through and I've, I've actually seen it in fruition and in black and white. And uh, for me, those two moments would probably be the highlight of my career. One thing I always rack my brain over is going to events and wondering what do I wear? How do you look so effortlessly business chic? It is not easy. Wow, <laughs> I really do struggle with it. I've got a certain style that I stick to generally. It's quite formal and that really does emanate from the fact that my lifestyle is very formal in terms of my business meetings, the board meetings or even presenting to clients. So I've always got to look really um, smart and I suppose being the brand ambassador of a book on branding, I've got to look really great all the time. On that note, we've got a little surprise for you planned. Compliments of Mela. We've got a stylist for us today that's going to create some really interesting looks. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Knowing how busy her schedule is, Clive had arranged for Kate to meet up with style fundies Christian Samuel and Alan Foley. Hey. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, Keeping Kate's corporate profile in mind, Christian and Clive had selected garments that combined a business-like style with touches of femininity and flair that complement her personality. I absolutely love this, but I'm not really sure whether it would suit me because I'm sure I'm quite short. It's going to actually make you look much shorter. I think we could look at items such as these. I think it's so critical it's to so have classic. a it's beautiful really... formal dress. Um, I think the skirt that we looked at, I think the length of this dress is wonderful. Thank you, and I'm going to go try it on right now. Fantastic. That looks so stunning. I can't wait to see the end result. Alan, tell us what color would you actually stay away from going into corporates? When you're in the corporate sphere, you've got to also think that you're in a quite a traditionally conservative area of business. So you can't be too way out in terms of what your, what your color choices are. But I mean, we've often thought that um, the very clever people when it comes to corporate sort of actually use color to their benefit. So if you're going into a meeting that you think is going to be a little bit difficult, then you wear slightly like a red or something that kind of puts your opponent off their guard and then you kind of get the upper hand. But I mean, if you want to play it safe, then I'd say literally stick to the neutrals. So, Clive, what do you think? Wow, that looks so stunning on you. I'm actually speechless. I mean, the mannequin does it no justice at all. How do you feel? I've got to show the back of it. So I feel like I'm a new person. You're not always corporate, though. The reality is that I love to sort of read. Um, I love being outdoors and I also love to cook uh, because it does bring my family together and it really creates some amazing memories as well. Kate had invited Clive to meet her family after the working day was over. 
Clive, welcome to my home. I'm really excited to have you in my personal space. This is the place that I actually unwind and I create memories and I do the things that I really love with the people that I love. Kate, I mean, how do you find balance? If you're so busy, how do you make time for family life? It's really difficult to strike the balance and sometimes I don't perfect it. I don't think I have the answer for it. But what's worked really well for me as an individual is actually when I'm at work, I'm 100% at work and I give it my best. And when I'm with my family, I make sure that it's good quality time so that we have good times and good memories that are created with it. And I mean, everybody has hobbies. What are yours and uh, how do you make time for that? I think it's a non-negotiable for me to exercise. Uh, I try to get to the gym almost every day or at least three times a week, worst case scenario, because I think if you physically fit, it actually does help you on a business level to deal with your stress or even on a personal level, you know, trying to juggle everything. If you physically fit, it's always better. What's your advice to up and coming individuals? My personal life philosophy has always been have a commitment to excellence in everything that you do and or don't do it at all and leave a legacy that one day your kids can be proud of. The food is ready, let's uh, dish up and I hope that you enjoy it and let's join the family. I can't wait to taste these dishes. Thank you.